I am so happy to announce that today's video is all about the baby bangle kittens and they have finally opened their eyes. But Hannah warned me that we have got to be very, wait, she's, she, oh my gosh, she's, she's literally waiting at the door. Are you there? Oh my gosh, do you see that? Let's head in, let's check them out in three, two, one. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that it is a very exciting one. And I am so happy to announce that today's video is all about the baby bangle kittens over at my sister's house and they have finally opened their eyes. Yep, you heard that right. The baby kittens have finally opened their eyes Eyes. They're absolutely adorable. I have not seen them yet. We're gonna head over there in just a little bit But first we've got some new merch to unbox so we're gonna unbox that merch Then we're gonna head over to Hannah's house check out the updates and then we're gonna check up on the baby bangle kitten So if you want to see the kittens now you want to know how they're doing you want to see them now that their eyes are open Well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that all right, guys, we just got a merch order in the mail of hats, and I can't wait to show all of you all of the options that are available. You're going to get to see them right here in person. So whenever you order a package from Redland Conservation Center, it's going to come with our logo on the box. Now we ripped off our address and all the important stuff. So let's stop talking about it, and let's unbox these hats, and let's open them up. So I couldn't help myself. I already had to go through, take a look at them, and I already had to open up this one. And this honestly might be my favorite. We got this nice moss green with the khaki on the back with the white on the front. I think this one is my favorite and if you guys like it as well, well after this video go to jacobfetter.com, get your hats and your merch today. But we also have some merch we're going to unbox here. So we've got all kinds of merch here. So we literally have like 10 different styles of hats right here and we are going to unbox some of them and as you can see, I don't even know how many hats we have in this box. We've literally got about 100. So we're going to close this on up and we're going to open some hats up. So right here we've got the black and white one. So this is blackout with white stitching, which looks absolutely amazing. Take a look at this hat, it looks great. We're gonna throw it on. This is one of many options that we have here. So we've got our black and white hat. Now we have the same hat, except we have the orange stitching. So the orange stitching contrasts so well on the black hat. So you see right here, we've got the blackout hat with the orange stitching. All of these options are amazing. It's honestly, it really is hard to pick a favorite when we've got such cool colors. So we got our, all of our black hats here. Now we have another one, which is black and white. So instead of it being all blackout, we got the white in the back. This one looks great. We also have the same green hat, except this one actually has black stitching. So if you don't like the white, you're going for the black look. Well, we got the one with the black stitching right here. Guys, I'm so excited to have these hats. You guys can get your very own today. And we also have another one of my personal favorites, which is the navy hat with the orange. It looks so good and so clean. But what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below, which hat is your favorite? Right here, we have six incredible options for hats. And if you guys don't like any of these, well, we're sure to have some options for everyone on the website. So if you guys want to support wildlife conservation, you want some cool merch, well, after this video, go to jacobfetter.com, get your merch. We've got hats. We also have these incredible embroidered t-shirts. We've got hoodies. We've got everything for everyone. Guys, Gabe just called me over because Gabe is watering some plants and there's a wild peacock on my property. I think it's Kevin. This might be actually be Kevin. If you guys remember this video right here, we rescued a peacock with a broken leg. We rehabbed him. He was living here on my property and one day he disappeared and I think it's Kevin. Kevin? Kevin, is that you? Kevin? Kevin! Guys, he's flying. Oh my God, Kevin! So now that we got to check out some of my incredible hats, it is time to head over to my sister's Hannah's house. There's been a lot of progress. I haven't been over there in weeks. As you guys know, we set some traps in her barn. Her house is almost done. She's about to move in. So we're gonna head over there and then we're gonna go check up on the kittens. All right, guys, we just got here to my sister's house. We have not been here in a while and I'm already noticing a difference out front. If you look before, there was no plants here. So right now we have all of this Calusia. So this is gonna be like a big hedge so no one can look in. We're also blocking out the neighbors, but we have here all the Calusia and then there's palm trees right there. So already we're seeing a big difference here in the front. Guys, just like my jungle, we're gonna get to see another jungle be built over the next couple of years. I'd say probably in the next three to five years, you're gonna see Hannah's property develop and grow. She has plans for all kinds of animals and ponds and crazy stuff. So you guys are definitely gonna wanna subscribe to Hannah. If you guys have been here, you know exactly who she is. If you're new here, you're gonna meet her in a second because we've gotta head in right now 
to check on the improvements. I think it's been a month since I've been here, so there's been a lot of progress. I've seen a couple pictures and videos, but I'm walking into a surprise, so let's head in and let's check it out. All right, we're heading in, and you guys are gonna get my first reaction right now. And oh my gosh, all I can say is this looks absolutely amazing. Look at this inside of here. So we're walking inside of the house right now. So right away, you can see that this place right here has entirely transformed into a beautiful home. It was really nice before, it needed some updates, but right now you're seeing pretty much the finished result. Look at this, this is insane. So the front door area right here, we've got the beautiful wood pieces, we've got brand new floors, the kitchen is almost done, so we got these, this island right here. There's gonna be some stone going up on top from what they tell me. We've got the beautiful dining room set. Hannah, are you here? Yeah. Hannah? Hannah, this is crazy. This is, this is nice. So, guys, before we were literally pulling rats out of her ceiling, and now it's completely fixed. It looks like a completely different home, and we're gonna take our shoes off. I saw Hannah's shoes were off there. So we're heading into the back. Wait, is this done here, Hannah? Oh, okay, we're gonna go in there in a second, but Hannah, this is crazy. This is sick. It's insane. Guys, if you don't know Hannah, this is Hannah, my sister, and we're touring her in same new house right it's now. Crazy. So, it's so nice. So nice. So, Hannah, why don't you give me the grand tour? I, I, I saw the kitchen area. I just kind of saw that bathroom. So Yeah, so they're still finishing the kitchen. They're coming next week to do that, but basically everything's done. I mean, they gotta do a little touch-ups, but this is my home, guys. All right, let's, let's see it. Well, we're gonna, wait, wait, wait. we're gonna do a final house tour when the house is done because it probably won't be set up to what, like at least two more months until so you're like settled. Like settled every furniture piece that I want and it's yeah, gonna take a little so time to make it. Where are the animals ready? going? Which one is gonna be the animal room here? This is the animal this room. This is the animal room. So what are you planning on having in here? This is just for all the babies, right? For all the babies, whatever baby animal I have, guys. I have baby kittens right now, baby bangles, so this is the room that they're gonna be going in. Yeah, and we're gonna head over there in a second because like I was telling you guys, the baby bangles, they finally open their eyes, oh they can so see cool. us. I have not even seen them yet. Hannah showed me pictures. And well, I can't wait to go see them. All right, so we saw the animal room, now let's- Do you wanna go to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, sure, let's see the bathroom, All right, okay. so we All got two right. vanities right here. I like see it. a wall right here, so it's pretty insane to see how big this bathroom is and just how far it's come along with yeah. the shower. All right, the shower's sick. Do we have the lights on for the shower? Can we turn yeah. it on? There all right, wait, go. okay, all right, there nice shower. So this is not totally done. You can still see they gotta fix the trim in here. I think you're putting a shower curtain. Yes, we're doing a glass, and they have to come in and install one more thing, but then it's pretty much done. Okay, I like it. The vanities, vanities. looks nice, we're floating. Hey, are we running? We got running water here. Oh, nope, not yet, they gotta fix the piping in that. We got running water in the other bathroom. All right, let's go take a look. All right, now let's see the master bathroom. Turn it on. And look at okay. this. This is looking nice. We got one giant sink in here. We've got the shower, and it looks sick. So this is like, honestly, this is like this really nice, like Mexican, like pebble stone. We've got, I think that's what it is. I have, I have no I idea. Know. It looks sick. Gray with the black faucets. That faucet's working. This wait, this one, this that, works. That one's working. Right, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's do a test. All right, we got nice water. Really nice. Hannah's house is looking absolutely amazing. All the bathrooms, all the floors, the kitchen, everything is coming along so perfectly. So Hannah, is there anything else we gotta check out? I mean, you guys pretty much saw everything. There's nothing else to really see. I mean, honestly, finally moving in, getting all the furniture in, so yeah. you'll come back for that, but you know what time it is, Jacob? It's time to check up on the kittens. They have finally opened their eyes. I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait. I know you guys can't either, so let's hop in the car. Let's head over and let's go play with them. One hour later. All right, guys, we made it here to my parents' house and Hannah was not able to make it because as we were on the way over here, she got a call about an injured bird that needed some rescuing. So she's headed to go rescue that bird, but I'm still headed here because we have got to check up on these kittens. I have not seen them since they opened their eyes, so let's Let's head in and let's go see them. All right, so we're headed into the hallway right now to go check up on the kittens. Wait, I can already hear them now. In this door right here, this is where the kittens are that you guys met before. But I have not announced that Nova, the other Bengal cat, has also given birth to a tiny little kitten. It's in this bathroom right here, so we're gonna head in. We gotta take our shoes off, but Hannah warned me that we have got to be very, wait. Oh my gosh, she's she's literally waiting at the door. Okay, we, let's make sure we close this door because what Hannah told me was that this mom cat is gonna run out with her baby in the mouth. So we've gotta be prepared to catch her to make sure that doesn't happen. Mama, are you there? Oh my gosh, do you see that? Hi. Guys, look, she's putting her paw out. Let's see if she wants to touch my hand. Hi, Mama. Do you wanna come here? Hello, hi. So we're gonna open up right now in three, two, one. 
Hello? No, but wait, wait, no, 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 we got to come back to your child, we got to go back in, we must come in, we must stay in. Guys, we've got Nova, the other Bengal cat, and she wants down, but what we can't do is we cannot let her out of this little room right here, so we're gonna put her down, we're closing the door, here she is. Hello, mommy, hello, you are a very nice, kind cat, you are very, very cute, and right here is her baby, so right here, she had one tiny baby kitten. Now, what do you want? You want to go back, but you must stay and be a nice mom. So Nova kind of just wants to come up to me right now. She's one of the friendliest and coolest Bengal cats that there is. Come here, mother. Would you like to say hi? But I want to look at her baby. We got to be very quiet. Look, your baby's adorable. I want to see your baby. So it is kind of hard to see this little baby, but we don't really want to disturb him. Mama's coming next to her baby. The baby is absolutely adorable, and we did just wash our hands so we can handle them. Otherwise, we'd be putting gloves on, because this little guy is just opening his eyes, whereas the other ones have not. Now, this is my first time meeting this tiny little baby kitten. We just want to pick him up nice and gently, just like this in my hand. Give the baby support. Mama is rubbing up on her baby. This is absolutely beautiful to see Mama's love with her tiny little kitten. Now, Nova doesn't have as many spots as Nala, but nonetheless, she's still a beautiful, beautiful Bengal cat. You can see, like I was telling you guys before, these almost look like tiny baby clouded leopards. They're absolutely beautiful, and look at the face. Looks just like Mom. She's got the orange, she's got the spots, she's got the stripes. Hi, Mama, look, I have your baby. Look, you're a nice baby. We are gonna put the baby back down right here because there is a heat pad hanging out. Mama is just rubbing up. She wants out, but Mama, you got to stay with your child. Guys, look at this Bengal cat. Honestly, Nova is a little bit more friendlier than Nala. Nala's a really sweet and amazing cat, but Nova is so friendly. She's absolutely beautiful, and she's being a great mom. She loves those little butt scratches right there. You are a very nice, sweet, and kind cat. So nice and so cute. So now that we got to check out Nova and her little tiny baby, the moment you guys have been waiting for, we, oh, Hannah, Hannah? Oh my gosh. Can you hear me? Hannah is literally, she's literally watching me right now. What are you doing, <laughs> Hannah? Hannah, do you have anything? I, I'm, I'm in the camera. I, I, I always have eyes on the babies. Oh, do you have anything okay. to say to me? What are you, are you watching? Hannah, what are you doing watching me? <laughs> Guys, that is honestly really creepy. Uh, Okay. Making sure everyone everyone's okay. Hannah's stalking us and watching us. So now that we got to hang out with Nova and her adorable baby, now the moment you guys have been waiting for, we're gonna head out and we're gonna go check on the other babies. In three, two, one, we're entering. The setup's a bit different, but we wanna close the door fast so Mama doesn't leave. So we have Mama Nala right here, doing well. She's as sweet as ever. And we have three of the tiny little adorable babies now. I'm gonna explain what happened to the other two sadly in just a minute, but first, I want you guys to see these kittens. So right now, they're starting to get mobile, they're starting to walk, and we did wash our hands. And if you look at this little guy right here, he has finally opened the eyes. Mama is coming to lick their butt, because I think they're pooping and peeing. So Mama is still stimulating the babies, being a good mom, making sure they're nice and clean. And these babies are just kind of learning and figuring out what the heck they are. These babies have no idea what they are. And guys, look at this. This is absolutely adorable. It honestly looks like a tiny baby little lion. So this is kind of one of the marble kittens, the one that has like this stripe running down the back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this little guy right here has got a really unique stripe running down his back. Mama is grooming him, saying hello, being nice. We're going to put this baby back down. And then we have our two other spotted bangles. So this is more of like a marble bangle. And then these two right here are spotted. So you can see the difference between their coat patterns. This is dark and splotchy, whereas these have the rosettes just like baby clouded leopards. But to see these kids here with their eyes open, it is absolutely adorable. Look at this right here. I'm so happy to see these kittens doing well. They're happy, they're healthy, and they're absolutely adorable. I'm gonna pick up one of these little guys right now. This little kitten right here is sleeping. Look at this little guy. He's just waking up, and I might have to adopt one of these guys. Look at him. He can just fit in my hand and next to my face, and what's really cool about these bangles is you can have a really exotic looking cat without having an exotic cat, because 99% of people do not need exotic cats because they're not pets at all. But these little kittens right here, well, they make great pets. What's up, little guy? 
you're doing so well. You're so cute and kind and sweet and adorable. And Mama is just licking all of her kids. I love watching Mama be a good mom to her cats, licking them. And these little guys are grown up in the best environment. So right now, we're gonna give Nala some NutriCal since she is nursing kittens. She's gonna need extra calories because she's producing a lot of milk and she's using a lot of her own nutrients to actually pass them on to the little kittens. So if you guys have dogs, you guys have probably seen this stuff before. So basically, we're just gonna do just about this much of a fingertip of the NutriCal. We're gonna give that to the mom. So she's gonna sniff it, she's gonna smell it, and she's gonna come here and you can see she absolutely loves it. I've never tried it, but it smells like chicken. And if she thinks it's good, well, I'm sure I'd like it too. So if you look right here, Nala is licking my finger. And just like any big cat, these little cats also have little hairs running backwards on their tongue. And that's how the cats will actually drink water and eat food. The water will stick to their tongue and that is how they actually drink it. So Nala is gonna use her tongue and to lick off every bit of the NutriCal. So right now, if you actually look at Nala's nipples, you can see that they're actually kind of swollen and that's from all the little kittens nursing and it's also from her producing her milk. So she's licking her nipples, she's licking my fingers and these little kittens are happy, healthy and active. So right now, we're actually going to weigh the little baby kittens. Now the reason why we weigh the kittens is so we can monitor their growth and see if they're gaining weight or actually losing weight. If they're losing weight, we know there's a problem. If they're gaining weight, we know that they're doing great. So this is the easiest way to have a baseline and track how your animal's growing. So to get started, the most important part is to zero your scale. You wanna make sure this scale is at zero so we get an accurate weight. And we're gonna start with this little chunky head guy right here. This little kitten right here has a really adorable, fat and bulky head. He loves to be pet. You can see I'm petting him. He likes it and Nala is just super interested in everything we're doing and that's how these Bengal cats are. They've got a little wild spunk to them so we're gonna take our little baby just like this. We're gonna place him in the scale and this little guy right here is 12.5 ounces. So we're just gonna take a picture of that right here. 12.50 ounces right here on the scale. He's doing well, and if you look at his feet, you can see he's got these tiny little claws coming in. Even as a tiny little kitten, these guys have a full set of claws. And honestly, these tiny little claws are the cutest thing that I've ever seen. So we got a weight on one of our little bangles, and now we're gonna grab our other little bangle, which is one of my favorites, which is one of the super spotted ones right here. Now she's crying for mom, she doesn't know what's happening, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put her on the scale, but we're gonna have to hold mom back to get an accurate weight. So the first baby was 12.50, and this baby is 12.52. So it looks like all these little babies are just about the same weight, so we're gonna pull this little guy off. We're going to put him with his friend and we've got our last kitten of the day to weigh here. So we're going to take our little kitten right here. We've got him in our hands and we're going to place him on the scale. And this little kitten is 11.6 ounces. So we're going to take a picture of that right there. And wait, mom is biting on and she's picking up her baby. So mom is moving her baby and that is how they naturally do it in the wild. The mom cat will pick up the baby by their hair and they kind of have that scruff. So all the kittens right here have a little bit of flappy skin right here. And this little skin that you're seeing right there, that's how the moms pick them up. It doesn't hurt them at all and it's an easy way to move the babies. And now I know everyone is wondering what happened to the other three babies. When we were initially here, there was six babies. And if you've been watching my sister's channel and you've seen her videos, then you guys probably know exactly what happened to the babies. But for those of you that don't know, originally there was six baby bangles that were born. Now, the first one that passed away was actually suffocated by the mother on accident. The mom laid on her baby when she was nursing the other kittens and the other one kind of got stuck under there after just a couple days. And that is the reality of having animals. And my sister actually noticed it on the camera and came immediately home when she couldn't see one of the babies. And unfortunately, it was found underneath the mom as she was nursing the other babies. And if you guys remember my video, there was two kittens that were extremely tiny, much smaller than the others. If you guys saw this clip here, this is where you can really see the kittens next to each other. You can see the one really skinny one next to the healthy one, and they just were not gaining any weight. Sometimes when these tiny babies Baby kittens are born well they don't gain weight and some of them are just doomed to not make it we spoke to the vet and as young tiny newborn kittens if they're not doing too well there's not much that you can do for tiny kittens if you pump them full of antibiotics it can hurt them and at such a small age there's not much you can do it really is sad and unfortunate that that happened but that is the reality of having and owning animals crazy stuff is gonna happen and with tiny baby animals you never know what's gonna happen so that is going to end today's episode I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's update on 
the baby kittens that have finally opened their eyes. I'm so happy to be here hanging out and laying with the cutest kittens in the world. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below which one of these kittens should I get, if any. I'm honestly, I'm torn. I really love this marbled one with the stripe, but I also love the spotted bangles. So guys, I'm torn. I have no idea which one to get. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you want to see more kittens and you want to see the rest of my animal family, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.